the Valley of the Kings. 3,500 years ago, the great pharaohs stopped building pyramids as their tombs. They chose these secluded cliffs to become their cemetery. Today, archaeologists come from all over the world to unlock the mysteries still hidden in this city of the dead. It's the first day in the valley for Cairo-born Egyptologist Alia Ishmael and her team. It's a real buzz in this place. People are coming from all over the world. Coming to the valley, it's amazing. I'm so proud to have such ancestry. It's one of the most famous necropolises in the world. And I think what is special is that it comes out of nowhere. Over 300 miles south of Cairo, in the heart of Egypt, lie the limestone cliffs of the Valley of the Kings. After 200 years of excavation, archaeologists have found 65 tombs hidden amongst the rocks. But only one has ever been found with its treasures still inside. It belonged to the pharaoh Tutankhamun. This here is number 62, Tutankhamun. One of those great finds of the century. British explorer Howard Carter discovered Tutankhamun's tomb in 1922. One of his team spotted steps leading down through the sand. They led to the tomb entrance, buried beneath meters of rubble and debris. What Carter found inside inspired archaeologists for generations to come. Deep inside the mountains, amid a maze of tunnels that bore deep through the rock, Carter reached the tomb of Tutankhamun, hidden right in the center of the valley. Inside, he found treasures unlike anything ever seen before. Over 5,000 priceless artifacts, including golden statues, in the burial chamber, the pharaoh's mummy, wearing a golden death mask, was placed inside a coffin made of more than 200 pounds of solid gold. This intact tomb made Tutankhamun the most famous of the pharaohs. Now Alia is investigating this golden pharaoh's life. Wow. And why his tomb remained hidden for so long. Alia's team have been scanning and documenting the tomb for the last 10 years, and they've made a remarkable discovery. The idea here is to understand what's going on when you look at the data void of color. The scans strip away the paint on the walls to reveal unusual markings. This is the main scene, and here is the 3D of the north wall. So as you can see here, the silhouette of an image, and this would have been done while they were painting. The images show the indented outline of the face hidden below. It's caused by the tip of the paintbrush if you start painting when the plaster is still wet. This is why the brushes would have made a very light impression, and this allows us to understand that it was rushed. But why would the tomb builders rush such an important job? The pictures on the wall reveal another set of clues. 